Hey, welcome back to Dallas Sports. Ryan here, guys. So excited because we are going to show you today what you could use and how to use it to improve catching high balls, okay, in rugby. Especially for you youngsters, we always hear, go and practice your catching. Rugby, you need to learn how to catch and pass, which is part of the game, okay? A lot of times, high balls, we don't focus enough on it. At restarts, there's so many mistakes from a restart, people not catching it properly. And it's a skill that you can master and improve on immediately. This is what you should do. I've got a yoga ball, whoop, and I've got a basketball. You can use a football as well. Okay, to start off with a yoga ball, you, what, what you want is you go on your knees, okay, and you're gonna drop your arms as if you are upright in this position. What you want is like a rifle gun, okay, same thing. So I'm pointing my fingers, my eyes, my chest towards the target. So imagine the ball is coming from high and I'm looking at my hands and the ball at the same time. So if I'm doing this on the ground, I'm looking up. I'm looking up to the sky. You see that? So if we roll the ball, I'm squeezing the ball and I'm coming up. I'm squeezing the ball in towards my chest. I'll show you again. Change hands as well. Squeeze the ball and come up. We don't want wider elbows. We don't want a hole in our bread basket. Okay? So try catching with your arms first and don't use your hands. Let me show you. Okay? Squeeze with your arms first. And then you close the lid. Close the lid by squeezing the ball into your chest. Okay, we're gonna use the basketball. So this time, we're using the, the basketball that's smaller. Okay, so now what you will find, okay, it's more realistic and you can scoop it up. You can be on one knee or both knees on the floor. Keep your eye on the ball, okay? And bring it in. And again, bring it into your chest. Okay, it's an it's a easy practice because it's a round object. And you get used to the movement and the timing of it. Bring the ball into the chest and squeeze. Okay, the next one would obviously be the rugby ball. That's uh, oval, it can go anywhere. So you've gotta be keeping your eyes on the ball and move, squeeze the ball into your chest. One foot up if you can, scoop it up. Okay, bring it into the chest, okay? So you, you scoop it up and squeeze it into the chest, into the stomach. Close the lid on the basket, the bread basket. Right, so from there you can move on. You do a couple of reps of them until, until it becomes so natural, the movement. You move on, you progress. Okay, the next one would be especially for forwards. From a restart, forwards we expect it to go up and catch the ball, even backs as well. Okay, so this is what you could do. You, you, you could throw the ball to yourself and then when you catch it, make sure your feet stationary together and your shoulders and hands and head, everything is in line. This is what I'm talking about. Throw it up, catch the ball above your head. That's quite difficult to do. Okay, so feet's gotta be together by the time you catch the ball. Chop your feet, okay, and don't fall to the side. All right, I'll do it again. Throw the ball up, chop your feet, okay? Catch both feet together, all right? The next one, what about when there's a kick and you've got players chasing the ball? This is called the J-line. Did you know that? Okay, a J-line. I'll show you in a second. So the next one, guys, this is important for when you, it's a, it's a, it's a kick that you're chasing. We call this a J line. So what it means is you're chasing, you're running, and then you, just before you're about to catch the ball, you contest, obviously, going up against another opposition uh, player from the opposite side. And what you do is you don't, you're not square on attacking the ball. That's why people knock the ball on because the ball hits their chest. Plus you've got pressure. The idea is, the idea is to 
run and come across going forward. I've seen so many times people catch the ball, but they're playing that way. They catch the ball and then they end, they end up with their back towards where they need to be running. Okay, that's, that's the evidence of being square on and then having to turn. The easiest way is to run a J-line. Get used to running a J-line. Without the ball, at home, okay? Put cones down, run, eyes on the ball, and just move forward. Okay, I'll show you again. Imagine the kick, it's happened, running, eye on the ball, and then move forward. Make sure you practice both sides. Obviously, I've, I've just changed the angle, so you're still doing the same thing without the ball. Run, run there, short steps. See that, I'm landing with my back going forward. We don't want that, okay? What we do want is you keep going forward. One, two, three steps, catch, and then move forward. Okay? One, two, three, step. One, two, step. One, two, step. You know that one, right? One, two, and then the third one, you've got to go up and contest while you're moving forwards. Okay, let's do it with the ball. Okay, so now I'm going to try the ball, throw the ball up, and I'm going to attack the ball. Okay. So guys, obviously there's lots of different ways to practice catching a high ball. You, we've just broken it down. You start off getting used to that movement, bringing the ball into the chest. It's just reps after reps. Even at the highest level, people do the simple things right. It's those guys that keep on playing week in and week out. Okay, if you can do the simple things, what is the simple things? Catching, passing, catching, kicking. That's part of the game. Everything else makes it more complicated. So that's why I'm showing you. Use different balls, different sizes. Get used to the movement. Get used to the feeling. Then build it up where you can just stand. Okay, where it's a little bit more movement. Bring it into the chest. Get used to an eye on the ball. Okay, when the ball is up, hands above the head. Okay, so. I hope you like this video. Make sure, like I always ask, we thank you for your support. Okay, give us a thumbs up to drive more traffic and help us get to a thousand subscribers. Okay, if you find this useful, leave your comments down below if you take time out to watch it. Okay, see you next time.